Well, his statement was voluntary. Uh, he was uh, questioned in the Highland Park Police Department. Uh, he was uh, read his Miranda warnings, offered attorneys, etc. cetera. Uh, he went into details about what he had done. Uh, he admitted to what he had done. His motivation isn't uh, necessarily clear. I don't want to go specifically into what he told investigators. However, he uh, had some type of affinity towards the number four and seven, and inverse was seven four. It, it apparently comes from uh, music that he's interested in. What about uh, investigators did develop some information that it appears when he drove to Madison, he was driving around. However, he did see a celebration that was occurring in Madison, uh, and he seriously contemplated using the firearm he had in his vehicle to commit another shooting. In Madison? Um, in Madison. Do you know how much ammunition he had at that point? A approximately 60 rounds. I, I can't speak to why he decided to come back from Madison. Um, there are indications that uh, he didn't put enough planning forward to commit another attack. Uh, there's been some questions about uh, the FBI and, and, and their response in Madison, evidence technicians in Madison. Uh, he did uh, dispose of his phone in Madison, the Madison area in Middleton. That phone has since been recovered. Uh, the defendant uh, fired, emptied one clip of, uh, I believe, 30 rounds and uh, reloaded a second clip. I believe emptied that clip. I'm not positive uh, and actually reloaded a third time. Um, and so uh, that uh, those level de that those details may may change obviously as the investigation continues. But that's that's the information that we gave to the judge sir, today. Sir, Based on the information that the investigation has produced so far, the judge found that uh, the evidence was at such a level that he could be held without bond. Also, because of the fact that uh, it is a mandatory life sentence for each individual was hurt. People can anticipate an attempt murder charge as well as an aggravated battery with a firearm charge. All of those are class X felonies, uh, which have obviously serious uh, prison time associated with them. But other people were attempted to be murdered, people who were not shot. So there are many different charges that we are reviewing with respect to the other individuals uh, who have sadly been injured by this, frankly, who were present on the scene. They were shot at. That may also constitute an attempt murder charge. Every time he fires a bullet at an individual, he is committing aggravated discharge of a weapon, whether he hits someone or not. There will be many, many more charges coming uh, in the coming weeks. Breaking news or anything major that does develop, we will call a press conference. Otherwise, I would not anticipate